whenever we have an election in our Republic Kenya, it has now come to our senses that we have a bad political hygiene. And why am I saying that we have a bad political hygiene? Because whenever we enter to election and the winner is being is uh, actually declared, then you will find that the person who has been defeated, he ends up saying this election was leaked or they have taken my victory. And once that comes out, we always start seeing a political fight between these two factions. The faction which has won and has been given presidency and the faction which is taking the opposition. And we have perpetuated this bad political hygiene in a very bad sphere. And it is actually coming as a tradition in our nation. That means a person who has been defeated in a political contest will never agree that I have been defeated and I am going to over the checkup for the government which is in place. And why do you think we are having that bad political hygiene? I think one of the things which may make us to have that political bad hygiene, it is because we don't accept being losers. We always want to be in government. Everybody wants to be in government. And therefore, because whenever we approach to election, you will find that each, each side wants to be in government. And if one side wins, then the other side will actually come out and say our victory was stolen. And that means that side will always want to share the power, to share the government. And I think that bad political hygiene must be, be stopped. And that's what I call political impunity in our republic, Kenya. And recently, when the president was in Mombasa, he actually talked about this bad political hygiene. And I agree that this bad political hygiene must be stopped at once. We must be a nation where if you have been defeated in an election, you need to accept and let go. You need to offer what we call checks and balance to that government the people have chosen. And if we come up with that political hygiene, then that means our government, our nation, is going to prosper. That means the government will be have somebody who will always check that government. And that means it is high likely that it will deliver. Another thing, we are going to have an alternative government so that if the government in place fails, then the Kenyans will have an opportunity to choose 
another alternative government once we approach another election. So we must avoid this bad political behavior of wanting to be in government always. We must reach a point if you have been defeated in an election, you must accept to be in opposition. And if you have been given power to create a government, you must accept to be checked by those ones who are in the opposition. Please listen to the president, William Samuel Ruto, what he had to say when he was in Mombasa. Listen to that. Ile kitu mina uliza biongozi ni kwamba tuwache ubinafsi. Hatuwezi kuwa wananchi hawa waliamuka mapema. Wakaenda wakapiga foleni, wametuchagua. Alafu saa hizi hatutaki kuwafanyia kazi ati tunawapangia maandamano na tunawapangia maafa. That is not right. Siju kama tunayelewa na jameni. Na ndiyo nimesema ya kwamba mambo ya siyasa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Lazima tuondoe vita. Mambo ya kuharibu mali ya watu, kuharibu biashara ya watu, kupanga vijana wapigane mawe na polisi na kutumia weapons against the police is no longer going to be part of the equation of the politics of the Republic of Kenya. Hiyo haiwezekani. Siyo kama tunaelewana. Si tumekubaliana mambo ya vita kupiganisha watu, kuharibu mali, kuharibu mali ya umma, kuharibu biashara ya wananchi isiwe ni katikati ya siasa za taifa letu la Kenya. Sisi ni inchi ya demokrasia. Wa Kenya ni watu wapenda amani na sote tunataka kushirikiana na kutakuwa kutatua changamoto zetu kwa njia ya amani, kwa njia ya heshima, kwa desturi mzuri ndio tuweze kupeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele. Ni sawa watu wakilifi.